singular and plural forms in Turkish language. It's not a grammar. <laughs> it's a story. Today, I'm going to tell you a story named Two-Way Vowel Harmony, which are related with singular and plural. There are eight siblings, four brothers and four sisters. The brothers are A, O, O and U. They are called front vowels together. And the sisters are A, E, U, U. They are called back vowels together. Whenever any of the front vowels wants to go for hangout, they like to go with their father. His name is Lar. And any of the sisters from the back vowels wants to go for hangout, they go with their mother, whose name is Lar. Now you just need to memorize this small story. Now I'm gonna tell you what about singular and plural forms. For example, Araba means car. Because of the front vowel A, the last letter of the word, he goes with Lar. So it is Araba Lar means cars. In the same way, girl, cuz. Because of the front vowel of a in the middle of the word, he goes with lar. So, it is kuzlar, that means girls. Same. Pant, pantolon. Because of the front vowel a, the plural form is pantolonlar, means pants. The last example of front vowel bird kush for the letter u the plural will be kushler now come about back vowels ev house because of the back vowel a in the word the plural will be evler or houses the next example is cat Kedi. Because of the letter E, it goes with ler. So the plural is kedi ler or cats. I, goose. For the letter U, it goes to ler. So the word is goose ler means ice. The last example, day, gün. The letter for U, it's gün ler. That means Days. There is one exception. Sat means hour. But the word is satler, not satlar. I hope it's clear. So here is the summary. Just have a look. Thank you.